Well, now to shockwaves rippling across Michigan State University. This as the Board of Trustees is considering forcing out another school president. So far, the board isn't saying why. Samuel Stanley is the fourth university president since 2018. Longtime President Lou Anna Simon and interim president John Angler forced out over the Larry Nassar scandal. Satish Upta served as interim until Stanley was hired in 2019. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones is on campus where students are asking for answers. I definitely think the school should be more transparent about the whole situation because we do pay to go here. The joy of MSU's football win over the weekend was quieted quickly Sunday when word broke that the Board of Trustees has issued school president Samuel Stanley an ultimatum agree to resign or face the risk of being fired. I just wish everyone would be more open about why they want him to step down so the Michigan State community just knows exactly what's happening in the campus life. Stanley and the board have had disagreements before, from his COVID-19 precautions to his leadership style. But we're told the latest point of friction stems from how the university forced out the dean of its business school, Sanjay Gupta, who the provost found failed to follow the school's mandatory reporting policies governing reports of sexual violence or harassment. Really, the conversation that's happening is a discussion about President Stanley's contract with Michigan State University. Emily Garant is an MSU vice president and spokesperson. The university has been tight-lipped about the nature of the complaint that Gupta is accused of not reporting. But we've learned at least some board members believe he should not have been forced out at all and now seem intent on forcing out Stanley. This has been a year full of challenges and many accomplishments. Stanley came to MSU in 2019, tasked with repairing a culture that allowed Larry Nassar to abuse women for decades and reform how the university handles Title IX complaints. Yeah. By most measures, Stanley's three-year tenure has been successful, even according to the Board of Trustees. Just last year, they gave him high marks along with a 20% raise. They gave him a raise and said very nice things about him. Things seem to have changed very quickly. Well, they do do an annual evaluation of the president, um, and it's my understanding they are planning to do, uh, you know, share their evaluation at one of the upcoming board meetings. So for now on the campus of Michigan State, the Block S might as well stand for secrecy. Unless things change, the Board of Trustees is set to meet again in public on October 28th. From the campus of MSU, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Ross, thank you. And late this afternoon, two members of the Board of Trustees issued separate statements. Board Chair Diane Byram said in part, I take strong exception to the conduct by several MSU Board of Trustees who have sought to undermine and second guess President Stanley under the mistaken belief they are somehow better qualified to run the university. Then Vice Chair Dan Kelly issued a statement of his own, walking back reports that Stanley could be forced out. Contrary to recent media reports, at no time was the president threatened with termination or given an ultimatum regarding his employment. We'll continue to watch this one closely. Yes, we will, right?